Hey guys, it's Charlie with Wyoming Militaria. Got your third installment of Beginner's Guide to Collecting Militaria. So, we talked about, you know, deciding what you want to collect, doing it for right, the right reasons, the reasons to make you happy. We've also talked about, you know, having respect, showing respect, being polite um, to get established in the hobby. Next thing I want to talk about is a big one. It's knowledge and understanding what you're buying. So, we're all familiar with, oh, you can Google that, or, you know, let's go on Facebook, yada, yada, yada. Those are great little tools. All the information on everything is not there. You still come back to books. A lot of collectors, especially new collectors and young collectors, think books are stupid. And from an aspect of somebody who's out buying stuff, Maybe that's a good thing because may I can get, you know, the collectors that have been reading. I mean, we're f still finding stuff. Uh, the new collectors that are looking for that instant gratification of, you know, Google it, aren't. Why? Because they simply don't know. For lack of better terms, they're ignorant. So here's my book I wrote. This book is $40 plus shipping called the collar disc of the first world war has great information on collar insignia in this book i wouldn't be selling this book for forty dollars i couldn't sell this book for forty dollars if all of this information was easily found on google there are bits and pieces of it yes that are you will not find this book what's in this book by googling for free sorry you can't do it now you're sitting there kind of going oh 40 dollars that's a lot of money i could buy stuff with that and if i don't buy the book then i can just run out and buy more stuff okay yeah that's true got a world war one uh, tank core disc here seasoned collector somebody's been around instantly right off starting to chuckle this disc is a reproduction. You know how many new collectors I've seen that don't take time to educate themselves that would go out and spend 40, 50, 60 bucks on this disc that's worth five to ten dollars? If they bought this book, they'd know. Here's a, a really weird one. This is a J battery artillery. When's the last time you've seen one of these? Yeah, try never. Why? This disc is made. It's a made-up disc to fool people. You'd know that you bought the book. So you'd save money by not buying junk like this. I have it because I use stuff like this to show in the book and help educate people. But, you know, hey, if you didn't know, you're like, man, that's really cool. You know, you blew money on that. If you bought the book, you could have saved that money. Let's look here. This is just some stupid generic U.S. disc. Who needs it? You know, already got one. I want other stuff. You know, I don't want just generic stupid U.S. made. Kind of like this. Well, this one, yes, this is generic random U.S. made. Common. Everybody's got a pile of them. This is French made. So, not saying it's really worth much more or anything. It's worth a little bit more. But, you wouldn't know that if you didn't get the book. And I'm not just trying to thump up my book. There's, I mean, books on guns, books on swords, books on patches, books on uniforms, books on helmets. There's piles of books. There's books on probably literally everything you could want to collect. Some of these books are, you know, fairly inexpensive like mine at 40 bucks. Some of them are rare, out of print. Uh, I mean, I've spent on a single book, hundreds of dollars on a single book. Nobody would spend hundreds of dollars on a single book if that information was on Google. The information in that book is worth more than that book. That's why these books that are out of print are bringing what they're bringing. Of course, not all books are created equal. I have one of the few books on collar discs. Out of the ones that are out there, it's my personal favorite. But, I mean, there's multiple books on swords and guns and everything. Some are better than other, others. 
And there's nothing wrong with having a cheaper book. Sometimes a cheaper book will show you something the expensive one won't, vice versa. Books are important. Another thing you can do, there's charter clubs out there, collector's clubs. This particular, you know, and you can join, uh, some of them are $20 a year, some of them 50 but they usually, I'm going to use the Society of American Bayonet Collectors, one of the clubs I'm in as an example. I got this in the mail the other day. I can't remember, I mean, my membership was relatively inexpensive for a year. I get four of these per year, and I want to show you this. This is just a neat little book that has good articles in it. Has a lot of good reading. They're not very long. Different collectors submit different uh, articles, but there's a lot of good information in this book for the price of membership. This will help you grow your knowledge. Plus, it'll give your membership dues, if nobody joined any of these clubs, these people here that did some research, they wouldn't have no way to publish it if this magazine wasn't available through membership. So don't shortcut your knowledge. Knowledge is the most powerful thing you got. Like I said, Google's a great tool. Forums are great tools. Books are still awesome tools. Books, member journals are still wonderful tools. Hope you guys are liking the videos. Remember to like the page, follow the page, subscribe to us if you're watching on YouTube. And do remember that we do have items for sale under a photo album called Items for Sale on Facebook. Be happy to help you with anything you see there. And thanks for helping us grow this.